Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and welcome to my van build series, episode 3 and today I'm going to be installing van shelving as well as some accessories that I purchased for the van Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech Just to go over a few things This right here this big box is my van shelf. In this package is a 12 inch magnetic toolbar and there's four pieces in here. Here are some trays that I bought in two different sizes for the shelves. I got two new padlocks for the van. So now I have actually every single door secured. This right here is a set of magnet hooks that actually hold up to I believe 40 pounds each, which is pretty cool. In these two boxes, I'm going to attach uh, two tank holders, one for a nitrogen tank and one for a B tank, and that's going to be on the side of this shelf. And right here is a four-piece set for a magnetic toolbox tray. It's pretty cool. We'll go over that when we get to it. Let's start building this shelf Let's see what we have. Here's a look at what the shelf is going to look like as a complete product. Alright, so this is what we have. It is not a large shelf, it is a small one. Start putting this thing together. Figure out where am I going to put this. Also comes with these back covers, which I absolutely love. All right, now that is a beautiful thing. I love the color scheme between the purple, the gray, black, and white. So this is all great, except we have a problem here. So this definitely wasn't built for a sidewall when it comes to van. This is something that you would keep in the front. If there was like a gate here, a barrier, you would keep that in the back. But 
I decided I'm gonna try to make it fit. So why it doesn't come off, why it doesn't fit, it's because of this right here. This is where the tire is. So to make this fit, I decided I'm actually gonna trim this. See if I can still keep some support in the front and just support this really well from the top and the sides. So my idea was to put two tank holders here so I can keep a nitrogen tank and a B tank. And these are the holders that I got. These are really cool. Just mount this in the back. And you're ready to roll. So I'm just gonna fit my nitrogen tank with this holder so I can get an idea of where exactly this is gonna fit. And then I can make my cuts and support this to the truck. So we have a decent amount of clearance here. So I'd say this is where I would mount my shelf. Hopefully I can fit two holders here so I can fit both the nitro tank and my B tank. But if not, you know, I'll find some space. <laughs> All right, so this is where we're gonna go with. It's gonna end up right here, and we have just enough space to fit a tank. One will definitely fit, hopefully both will. I'm just gonna take a marker, pen, and basically I'm gonna wanna mark, notch this out, something like this, and as far as the depth, it's gonna be a difference between here and this wall, most likely, or actually up here as it gets narrowed out. And by cutting this and putting it back, I'll be able to push it back to the wall and still support it down here. One here, and the rest will be mounted towards the wall. All right, so I'm gonna use a cordless grinder to make the cut, and I'm actually gonna cut it right in my van because I am in a public parking lot. <laughs> so let's do this quick and not catch too much attention. So far it's looking pretty good. It's gotta go across the edge. I'm doing this little by little because I don't want to set off any smoke alarms. <laughs> a cut here all right now that is a beautiful thing let's mount this thing I am beyond pleased really glad that it can stand on its own and it's balanced everything is perfectly even so for the tops we're gonna do something like this and mount that to the shell here so we don't penetrate through the car. Two like these for both tops. I wanna secure the bottom down to the car and put nuts and bolts. And I'm actually gonna purchase two more sets of this. So down here, I could actually support it like right there. And that would be perfect. All right, everything looks absolutely fantastic. So here's an idea of what it's gonna look like. Here's this bracket. It's secured. I could fit both tanks here, but I can't fit two brackets nicely. It's sticking out. I either not use it and just actually put my B tank here and strap it along this one, or we'll find another spot that will be determined. There's an idea of what this looks like. And it's going to be drilled into here. And then we're gonna drill in the bottom down the truck bed with some nuts and bolts. All right, everything is now in place and secured. I even ran nuts and bolts to the bottom of the truck bed. Now we can install this rack. All right, nitrogen is in place. And this four piece kit is actually a paper towel rack and I'm gonna mount that right here.
All right, so we actually got a few options. I actually just put this on there and I actually love the look. This is a can holder, can rack. And these are actually magnetic. And let's see, we have eight magnets here. This is pretty strong. Right there. That actually looks so good. Eastwood, do the job right. Wow, <laughs> it looks so professional. I might go with that. This thing is so cool. That's what the paper towel rack looks like. Let's see what the other setup looks like with the cans and actually in it. You know what? I want to go with this right here. Holds WD-40 and it even holds a propane tank. That is amazing. I have all my tanks right here. I love this thing. If you want to give it some extra support, you can put some nuts and bolts through it as well. Wow. All right, so I added some extra support. As you've seen before, I had it up here already. And then I added this right here as well. Same thing for the opposite end. Added this bracket right here. Everything is supported with nuts and bolts. On the opposite end, I added a paper towel rack, a shelf here, and a second shelf here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the temporary setup until we move on to the future. And my next video, I'm gonna be working on truck storage. All this stuff right here. I hate how this is all exposed. I don't want any of this to be seen. So what I wanna do is I wanna get some kind of storage bins, something heavy duty, have everything covered and hidden. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.